there's just nothing like this twin turbo V6 that comes out of the Maserati. It's insanely incredible how good Maserati makes this V6 sound. Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Maserati Alfa Romeo Daytona Beach. I'm here one week later after the hurricanes. Last week we were dealing with Hurricane Dorian and everybody who's been affected from the Bahamas to the Carolinas, Virginia. Please keep everybody in your prayers. Help out where you can. Florida obviously was spared. I mean, we only got maybe winds up to about 40 miles per hour. So luckily I didn't have any power outages, any anything. I mean, it wasn't barely even flooding. So um, thank you for everybody who sent out their well wishes to me and my family um, and just to say pray or help whoever you can um, in their Bahamas out there in the Carolinas. Make sure you guys look out for one another because this is just the beginning of hurricane season. So hopefully we don't get hit with anything else. But now you can see how beautiful it is where I'm at. I'm back in my element and I have something new for you guys. Oh, and I know you guys peep the threads, the Ron's Rise t-shirt. Guys, make sure you check the links down in the description if you guys want one of those. Brand new on the lot, a 2019 Maserati Levante Grand Sport with the Nerissimo package. This thing is sick. Reason being is because that color contrast, one of the most popular colors you'll get at the dealership for these cars. Levantes, Quattroportes, um, Ghiblis, everything is a black exterior with a red interior or a white exterior with a red interior. We have one of them here. This one has the Nerissimo package, so it blacks out everything. This one has the Grand Sport package, so it has a more aggressive sporty exterior and interior. And this one has the nice gray wheels with the red calipers. So, I mean, this is a spec and a half. So I'm going to take this for a drive so you guys can hear this Maserati exhaust because I feel like, and I've said this before and I've proved it in a video, that the Levante sounds a lot better than the Ghibli does. If exhaust wise, I mean, you guys will be able to hear it again today, but I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. So we'll take it for a drive. All right, we'll talk about the pricing, stickers, options, all that kind of stuff. But first, I'm gonna take you around the exterior changes with the Grand Sport and the Resimo package. See if this is something that you guys might be interested in or if you just wanna gawk at it like I am. First off, let's start with the key fob, one of the coolest key fobs in the game. You guys know that this weighs a ton of bricks. If you've ever held one of these, you know how heavy they are. But heavy means quality or it feels like quality at least. Love this thing. Now, with that said, let's talk about this car. Over $7,000 in options for this Levante. All right, Grand Sport. So what does Grand Sport mean? Nerissimo, what does Nerissimo mean? Well, Nerissimo means black, very black, all right? So that's the Italian translation to English. And then Grand Sport is just the Grand Sport. It's a sportier version. So let's talk about the front of this car. First, the big Trident that you cannot mistake there. It has the driver assistance package, which is why it is a thicker, more technology induced Trident. This has all the tech packed in it, so they had to make it bigger because they need to put that technology for their driver assistance safety stuff. But the Resimo package, blacked out grill here, all right? So you can see the blacked out grill, these blades, the front, normally done in chrome. It's black for the Nerissimo package, all right? So we're blacked out already there. We have the darker headlamps here. Kind of like a, I wanna say a nice tint to them, but you can tell that they're not normal or <laughs> normal. Then you have the Grand Sport front grille. Bigger air vents on the side. You have your side blades as well here. A lot like the GTS, a lot like the Trofeo. The difference with the Trofeo is those side blades are done in carbon fiber. Same thing with the Trofeo. The Front lip done in carbon fiber, but for the Grand Sport, you still have that big front fascia. You still have the big lip. You still have the big front grill down here, and it looks a lot better, a lot sportier, a lot more aggressive, which is why this is a Grand Sport. Wheels here are the 20-inch Efesto Dark Midon Gray. All right, so Dark Midon, you guys may notice, is from the Alfa Romeo color for their black package. So they do have the Neto Edizione package, which is a Dark Mion finish for their trim levels. This is a Dark Mion finish, but for gray, all right? And this is the 20 inch Festo wheels, all right? You do have the red calipers with the Maserati script. You do have the Brembo brakes standard with this car. Grand Sport badge there, so you know what you're driving and everybody else does. And then along these lines here, you do have the nice window trim done in gloss black. So normally for a Grand Sport, it would be done in gloss black, but since it has an Nerissimo package, it's done in gloss black as well. So either way, you're gonna get it done in black. Mirror caps would be done in black as well, but since this is a black car, automatically black. 
All right, so we'll swoop around here. Body colored handles. Body colored handles would be for the Grand Sport package, all right? So Grand Sport would give you your body match handles and it happens to be black because it's a black car. So everything just gets blacked out. Now let's talk about this Trident, smoked. This is not the bright chrome that you're used to for the Maserati Trident. You have with the Nerissimo package, a smoked Trident. You also have the black spoiler done up front here too. Now, again, you guys may think it's just body colored, but since it is done in black, it just works out. It's just, it's black on black. So either way, you're gonna get all this black on this car. All right, so let's talk about these badges here. Q4 badge, smoked out. Levante badge, smoked out. And your Maserati insignia here, smoked out as well. So you do have a nice little smoky presence for the back of the Levante. Now, once one big thing that you may notice, well, that exhaust tip, look at that. Quad exhaust, black tips, and you have the Grand Sport back bumper, the fascia, so much more aggressive here. This big chunk here just gives it so much more of a sporty look. The gloss black rear diffuser back there, I mean, this thing just looks so cool from the back. It helps it out because the Levante from the back could have used a little bit of help. Now, not saying that it is that underwhelming, but you see it and you don't feel Maserati when seeing it from the rear. But when you have a Grand Sport model, especially in a different color where you can see those accents pop a little bit more, it just looks so much more like a car that can eat the road and the looks match the sound. This looks aggressive, it sounds aggressive. I mean, it's just a great package to have. Now, if you guys got a twin turbo V6 Maserati to save fuel, you have your priorities mixed up. But let's talk about this. All right, premium fuel only for this vehicle. You're talking about 17 combined city and highway, 15 city and 21 on the highway. It really depends on your driving. Some people's driving habits are a lot different. Some people are light on the pedal. Some people are hard on the pedal. Harder accelerations require more fuel because it's more work for the engine, all that kind of stuff, common sense stuff. But just to kind of let you guys know, if you don't get that miles per gallon average, don't shoot me. It depends on your driving habits. But so under the hood of this Levante, you're looking at that silver shield. That silver shield means that it is the entry level power variant. The twin turbo three liter V6 puts out 345 horsepower with a top speed of 156 miles per hour. Your zero to 60 is gonna be 5.8 seconds. This is the all wheel drive model. So your max torque is 369 foot pounds. All right, so we're inside of the 2019 Maserati Levante Grand Sport and I've done countless drives with these cars. There's not much more to say, but just to do. Manual mode, sport mode, or sport manual mode, as they would like to say, and rip it. One of the best sounding SUVs in the planet, guys. get this out of the Rolls Royce Cullinan. You're not gonna get this out of the Bentley Bottega. I mean, even stuff like the Lamborghini Urus may sound great and it may sound phenomenal after an exhaust, but there's just nothing like this twin turbo V6 that comes out of the Maserati. It's insanely incredible how good Maserati makes this V6 sound. I mean, listen to the symphony. interrupted me mid-sentence you have to let those rpms ride before you decide to upshift because you won't regret it if you guys don't believe me just listen to it again Captain America would say, I could do this all day. 
I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> So if you guys are not a fan of red or rosso, you are not going to like this interior. Done with rosso, nero, black piano wood, and aluminum trim, this is my type of spec. Now you know the Grand Sport, any Maserati Grand Sport, Ghibli, Levante, or Quattroporte come with the nice Grand Sport seats, big bucket seats, much wider, much more aggressive, a lot more sportier, and they look sharp. Even with the nice little aluminum trim here and the headliner there, all right, then you do have the black stitching to go along with it. I mean, everything just looks good. Elongated headrest, I mean, the bolstering. It's just a very comfortable place to be with these big sporty seats. I do love them. Now, for 2019, Maserati did do the stitching pattern a little different on the doors. So now, in the door paneling here, you have different stitching that goes through out the leather just better styling imagine if this was just solid red some people might like it but maserati decided in 2019 they're going to add some more stitching just make it a little bit more luxurious a little bit more you know upscale to add that it's a small change but still it works out you have your black piano wood along the trim there you do have your aluminum door handle that's there and then it goes all the way across going under the black piano wood just a nice nice little styling fact to it then you do have your window switches not much there just window switches and door locks all right and then down below you do have your Harman Kardon sound system in this one so you'll see the Harman Kardon badge there and you'll see the additional speaker down there below for the glove box here which you have decent amount of space here you have your glove box Maserati genuine accessories in there you also have the black piano wood trim and that aluminum trim going under it just like in the door paneling very nice that they did that match that kind of you know whole theme there then you have more stitching with the raw sole leather here going with the black stitching this is leather as well too guys don't get it confused this is not plastic this is leather all right this is leather this is leather everything's leather inside of here you also have the alcantara post there you have them on both sides and then the alcantara full headliner which we'll get to in a moment here right here in the center you have leather going throughout nettle leather and you also have your maserati clock these have been in cars for days on out they put them in every car these days just always have been there then we talk about that 8.4 inch touch screen for maserati touch control plus all right so you have a couple of different ways to navigate through this you have the dial down here which you can see you can move things around or you have the touch screen if you guys want to just you know do something very quickly don't have to worry about a dial you can do that here as you guys can see for the center console black piano wood here like any other thing that is black it is prone to fingerprints it is prone to dust scratches all that stuff now when i had my ghibli for my black piano wood trim i got a couple scratches it always seemed dirty and dusty but it looks good once it's clean but when it's not clean you'll definitely be able to tell so you'll see that dirt and grime just because it is black that's just one of those things it's just going to come with the territory but you do have your switches down here adjustable air suspension because this is a levante it does have air suspension this will lower and raise on command by just pulling this up and down or depending on what driving mode you're in so if you're in sport mode it's going to lower all right if you're in off-road mode it's going to raise so you can do that which i really like about this because putting it in sport mode or just lowering it in general gives it a much more aggressive stance and then moving to the side parking brake hazard your toggle switches all right so the bottom one down here is to navigate your touch screen the top one is for your volume control and your radio two track gear select system all right so pull back you can put it in manual this way all right, by just moving it to the side, you're in drive here, go up, you're in neutral, press the trigger and go up, you're in reverse, press the P, you're in park, all right? This is like a joystick. So you move it, it's gonna go back to its resting place. It's not gonna stay where you put it. It's always gonna start in the center. You decide to pull it wherever you want it to go at the time, all right? So pretty easy system once you get used to it. ZF transmission, so this is one that the Germans cooked up and it works quite well. Now, if you guys go down here, you can see our drive control buttons here you have your traction control off button you have your off-road bu button there you have your ice which is not necessarily ice not like winter ice what it is is increased efficiency ice okay so better for fuel economy if you're on the highway if you're using cruise control ice mode is the way to go to get the best fuel consumption all right so that's what that's for sport mode we know what that's for guys put that on oh listen to that hold on let me turn down the air let me turn down the air guys hold on Listen to that valve change, okay? Valve's closed. 
valves open. Ah, oh, I love it. And, and your damper is here, where if you press that, you can turn the sport suspension on or off. So that is what this is for. If you don't have to be in sport to turn the sport suspension on, all right? So just to keep that in mind. Now, what's under fingerprinted door number one? Well, you do have under there. Can you guys see it? Can you see it all right? All right, aux cable, USB, SD. And then that's pretty much it. A little slot for your cell phone, which if you guys just heard, my cell phone just went off. But it's pretty deep down here. So you got plenty of space. If you want to put anything specific down there that needs a little bit more space, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this. I have a very red armrest here, all right, with plenty of space down there, pretty deep. All right, you do have right there, all right, your max 180 watt. You do have two cup holders there. You do have an on and off switch to let air in here. So right now I can feel the air going through, but I turned it off. If I press that switch over, you guys can feel the air actually coming in to keep your drinks cool or your espressos cool or whatever you put in there um, because not a lot of things can fit in there with the size of those, but really cool. I really love that. And we're mimicking the same thing on the driver's side door as the passenger side door, which I showed you first, switch it up a little bit, but you have your seat controls there, your one and two for your seat memory. And then you have a couple more controls because you can control both sets of windows. You can control your mirrors up here and then you have your locks and your locks for the back too for the windows now with that said let's go to the steering wheel steering wheel sport steering wheel grand sport sport steering wheel so you get the pedals all right big italian pedals as you can see those things are humongous but that's what i love about these and you also have the perforated sport steering wheel perforated leather on both sides and then you have your typical leather inserts here all right you have your nice aluminum trim with a nice curvature there and then that's pretty much it insignia right in the middle there so you know it's a maserati driver assistance here all right because it has a driver assistance package so you'll get that like your highway assist all right stuff like your four collision your cruise control your hill descent stuff like that you have your hands free all right your controls there and you do have your menu button as well here for your odometer if you want to move things up and down here so actually let's just kind of squeeze in there so you see the tire pressure there that's for your driver assistance i'll go back to that you do have your uh, miles per gallon there your average and range you have the same thing there, elapsed time, distance, all that. You have your start stop, which start stop is not ready because the driver's seatbelt is unlocked. Way to put me on blast, all right? Way to put me on blast. Yes, my seatbelt's unbuckled, sorry. All right, you have your radio there, all right? Next one, you have your messages stored. If you guys are wondering what this means, if you were to have, say, a service vehicle or a service engine light or your key fob battery is low or anything like that where it needs to get serviced or something needs to get fixed or replaced, it will let you know there. It will also pop up the warning when you first turn on the car, but if you miss that you know, warning for some reason, you can go to your stored messages and that's what that would be. It's not like your stored text messages or voicemails or anything like that, just so you don't get that confused. All right, and then press enter. You use the vehicle settings here so you can change, customize all this stuff around here. Like the electric park brake, like the interior lighting, screen setup. So you do a screen setup, you can do upper left, upper right, default, stuff like that. I mean, a lot of customization here. Nothing like the Germans with Audi, BMW, and Mercedes. Maserati has never been super about that. They've been about the bare necessities, but nothing too over the top. 190 on the dash, and you do rev up to about six and a half RPMs there. And that's pretty much a quick overview of this part of the interior. Now we'll go down below, but I'm gonna get out of the car so you guys can see this a little bit better. Go down below. Those nice aluminum pedals, guys, I know I always talk about the aluminum pedals, but they really, they, they make a big difference when you're stepping on these versus a rubber pedal. I feel like you have a lot better connection to your vehicle when stopping and when accelerating. And I feel like these are important for cars like these or SUVs like these because they're performance SUVs or performance cars and you want these things to really feel you and you feel it out and you guys have that driving experience to where the steering wheels gotta feel right the pedals gotta feel right the paddle shifters gotta feel right you have to listen to it it's just it's one complete experience and you guys who have driven these cars will know what i'm talking about even the dead pedal where your resting foot is it has to feel like a race car and i think that aluminum pedals just really should be put in all these vehicles standard let's just hop in the back while we're just kind of talking about stuff let's just go for it all right so here's our back seat let's hop right in so I was kind of far back a little bit. I wouldn't say too far back, but I was in a comfortable position. As you can see, I'm 5'11". That's the kind of space I have. 
in the back seat being 5'11 size 13 foot so my feet are going to tuck under regardless but as you can see this curvature in the back plate here helps me out right here where the knees should go and that's why they do that so my knees aren't rubbing against these things but for the most part it's decent space um it's you know a little bit more space than the ghibli and i would say uh, obviously the quattro porte is going to have the most space but it feels good back here Reason being is because of those seats, the Grand Sport seats, they get the sporty bucket seats in the back as well. You get the same treatment with the drilled leather, all right, this perforated leather. You get the same treatment with the Trident. I mean, it just looks really good back here and it feels good as well. And that's the important part. Same treatment on the door paneling as well. You get that same stitching carried on back here, black piano wood trim, aluminum with the door handle and then the aluminum trim to follow the rest of the line through, all right? And then you have your window control and lock controls and you get the same Harman Kardon speakers both speakers back here as well nobody's really sacrificing back here all right and you pull down in the middle gotta have cup holders right you can see how new this car is <laughs> because this hasn't even been taken out but here's a cup holders all right very nice design flush with the aluminum trim again just a nice design there and your feed through for the center feed to go into the truck push that up let's take a look here HVAC here, all right, two vents, and then you have your USB charge there. I never normally open the sunroof from the back or give you guys the view from the sunroof in the back. So since this thing is so massive, Alcantara all the way around, all right, but this here is not Alcantara. This is kind of like a fabric feel to it, um, but it's not Alcantara, obvious reasons. So this is gonna block out a lot of your sunlight and you need that here in the Florida heat. But let's just reach up here and we're just gonna kind of put the sunroof back from back here. Um, if that's possible, let's see if I can do it. All right, I got it. So I'll show you guys how far back it goes so you guys can get that natural sunlight all right look at that it goes all the way back here i opened it up a little bit too so it's got the like little mohawk too so you wonder why there's a gap there you don't have to have that you can close it to where it's just glass and no air coming in but look at that that is massive so yeah i like this for natural sunlight being in florida this is something that is much needed so kudos to the light if you guys option out the kick sensor for your maserati levante there's four ways you can open this thing and five ways you can close it i know right so you have the key fob here to open all right press it twice you can do the kick sensor kick in and pull out down the center to open it up it's not a swiping motion my maserati trainer told me when i worked here that you got to go in the center and then it detects the out motion going out and it's down the center that opens it up you can use the grab underneath press the button open it up and from the inside you can press the button to open it up we're going to use this here now while i said there was four ways to open it and five ways to close it well what do you think that fifth way is to close it the same four ways i opened it i can close them those ways too so i can press the button twice and close it the fifth way is manually so the fifth way you can close this is just by pulling it down there by the handle all right so four ways to open it five ways to close it Plenty of space back here. As you can see, my backpack is back here. Let's pull this out so we can see everything. All right, tons of space. This is why you get the Levante over the Ghibli. If this is the scenario where you need more cargo space, it makes more sense. All right, if you wanna do off-roading, obviously that makes more sense, but you want this kind of trunk space. You have a center feed, 60-40 split. All right, so 60% on the driver and middle, 40% on the passenger. You have a center feed right there, 12 volt straps there strap here all right you do have braces here if you want to connect any kind of net and underneath which is really nice because it comes with a hook here to hold things up so i could just hook it in here all right that's cool keep that tray up and then you got room for any kind of stowage for tools anything like that that you want to put miscellaneous stuff here but that's not it pull this bad boy off all right now you're looking at your spare tire you're looking at extra tools you're looking at your jack there. You're looking at your tire and plate kit. You do also have your front plate mount. We don't need front plates here in Florida. And then your battery sitting back here. Everything's tucked away very nicely. Everything's tucked away very clean. The Italians know what they're doing with style, so we don't want to question them there. We just want to look at it and admire it. Put it right back, one-handed, as you can see. Grab this, one-handed. Put it back on the Velcro. I mean, it's practical, it's easy. Bam, just like that. I didn't, I mean, I didn't need any kind of effort to do that. And then I promised you guys that we would be able to close it 
the same way we open it. Grab the key fob and just press it twice. There you go. Close the same way we open it. I'm not a liar, guys, I promise. Now, the actual sticker for the Levante is on the windshield here, as you guys can see, so I'm not going to take it off. I'm just gonna do it from here, so hopefully the angle is good enough for you guys to see everything here. But the 2019 Levante Grand Sport Q4 all-wheel drive, let's talk about the price. It starts off at $82,980. I did tell you this had over $7,000 of options. All right, with the destination and preparation delivery, you're looking at $91,605, all right? So what do you get for that? Well, let's start with the options. Let's start with the good stuff. The options like the driver assistance package at $15,090. The Nerissimo package blacked out, $790. With 20 inch Efesto Miran dark gray wheels, only a $300 upcharge for the Grand Sport. It's gonna be more on a different Levante. Soft closed doors, $590. You have your sports steering wheel, which is heatable at $90. Your stitch trident on the headrest at $290. Your full natural drilled leather seats, $2,890. Your illuminated door sill at $200. And your roof rails done in a black finish at $390. Here's your standard equipment for this Levante. Hopefully you guys can see this well. Make sure you slow down the video so you can see all of the goodies, everything like the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, the dual exhaust tips, stuff like the Brembo brakes, stuff like the air suspension, Skyhook performance suspension, all that stuff that you guys need to see about this car. It really highlights it. Make sure you're looking at it. I'm going to try to go over this as slow and as steady as possible so you guys can see it. And there you go. Warranty is four years, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper. Pretty standard warranty for these types of cars. For your destination charge, you're looking at $1,195 and your preparation delivery, $300. And just in case you guys need to know everything up top here, your exterior, Neto, your interior, Rosso and Neto, and then your country of origin, obviously Italy, obviously engine, Italy, and transmission for the HBZF zf Germany, and the final assembly and turn, Italy. So there you guys have it. So what do you guys think about the 2019 Maserati Levante Grand Sport black on black the Nerissimo package $91,000 black on red I mean this is incredible looking spec this is an incredible sounding SUV this is an incredibly aggressive looking SUV one of the best in the game as far as looks and you guys don't at me at that all right I don't want to hear it this is one of the best looking now it may be subjective maybe the side or the rear doesn't look as good but that road presence of the front is unmatched now with that said that is my opinion. I wanna know what yours is. So make sure you guys let me know down in the comments below if you love this Maserati Levante or if you hate it and why. If you guys do love this thing though, I'm gonna leave Maserati Alfa Romeo's contact in my description so you guys can come and check out this car. Now, if you're interested in purchasing it, hey, let them know Ron's Rise sent you. You saw the video on YouTube. Hey, they'll probably hook you up. Who knows? I got some kind of pull around here, right? Now, with that said, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video today. Make sure you guys like the video if you did so it gets up in the rankings. More people can see this and it can support the channel. And we'll have a bigger discussion on this Maserati Levante Grand Sport. Now, with that said, links down in the description as well if you guys want to help support. I do have my one-time donation through PayPal. If you guys want to donate a dollar or two to support the channel, you can also be a Patreon and do a Patreon subscription as well. Or you can check out the Ron's Rise merch as you saw today I was wearing. You can get a t-shirt, you can get stickers, you can get hoodies, you can get coffee mugs, pillows, whatever you guys are thinking, Ron's Rise definitely helps support the brand. Now, with that said, social media links down below, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, see what kind of memes I'm posting, car videos, everything like that. You guys be blessed. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And we will see you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.